Welcome, folks. Jason Hoppy here with the Creative Pro Network, giving you a little sneak peek that is going to be part of our Creative Pro Design and AI Summit that is going to be held December 9th and 10th online. I am going to be teaching the Illustrator and AI class, and I just wanted to give you a quick little preview of the fantastic, powerful features that AI has been updated in Illustrator to give you amazing results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape, and then I'm going to click the Generate Vectors Beta panel, and I'm going to put in a prompt. From this prompt, I'm then going to click Generate, and the updated Firefly 3.0 is going to take that prompt and it's going to give me an editable vector object that I can then go ahead and choose from three different variations and very easily click through these three different items right here. Now, that's pretty awesome. But what happens if I want to go past just a simple little icon here? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another shape and then I'm going to generate the vectors here but I'm going to click on the view all settings. And now I'm going to change this from subject, which is what we did here, to an entire scene. So here I'm gonna put in watermelon slice at a picnic. And now I have just gotten an entire scene generated with that AI prompt. And it gives me three different versions of this that I can look at, scale, I can get into, and I can edit, which is pretty fantastic. Now, we can do a subject, we can also do a scene, and we can go in and we can do an icon. So if I generate that same, using that same prompt, an icon, I can click generate, and based on my vector results here, it is going to give me a very simplified icon using the same color scheme and the same ideas that have been drawn here in the prompt, and I come up with three different icons all editable. I can go in, can simply ungroup, and from this I can then go in and I can edit these shapes and these objects. All free, all vector, all generated based on you going in and simply entering in a prompt here. Now there's other things that happen in this Generate Vectors beta. You can control the amount of detail in here. You can also reference a particular style. Say you like this icon, and this is exactly the kind of look and feel that you have or you have in mind, and you really want all of the vector-generated options to look just like that. You can upload a style reference, and I'm going to show you when you come and take that class. They also have added an expanded area of effects, which allow you to give amazing effects based on just a simple prop and choosing the effects. And then you can go in and you can also change the color and tone and specify the number of colors. Now, this is absolutely mind-blowing because it's as simple as putting in a prompt. And the more descriptive you get with the prompt, the more you're going to get in terms of the output. So you definitely want to come and watch this event online. Remember, it's December 9th and 10th, and I'm going to be teaching the illustrator. So come join me and I can show you the rest of the awesome features. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.